welcome to our last episode of We Are Essington for 2022. Today we're talking about our highlights. It would be so easy for me to say my highlight is moving from one position to the other, but instead I'd like to share a highlight in the transition classroom. I had the opportunity to attend a science activity with Adam Turley where students were looking at using torches and what happens to electrons as, as the, there is a transfer of energy. I had the opportunity of reading stories, visiting classrooms and hearing math and their morning meeting where they were talking about calendar. The learning, engagement and excitement of our youngest learners our inspiration to the work that we're doing at Essington. Let's hear now from the staff and students about what their highlights for 2022 were. Highlight for me so far this year at Essington was actually last Friday when we had our final year 12 assembly. It was just amazing to finally see our young graduates um, all coming together and being celebrated and we were joined by a large number of alumni um, who'd actually graduated from Essington 10 years ago. A highlight for me in the 2022 school year was certainly the fact that finally we could bring our school community back together. With the COVID restrictions lifted, it meant that once again we were a community on campus and this will only grow in 2023. The best part of the year is playing soccer and basketball. Playing in the tree. Playing disasters. Um, playing in the tree. Christmas, year one. A highlight for me at Essington this year has been being part of the RAP committee and having such an exciting time. We had our very first staff cultural awareness training, um, Larrakia cultural awareness training, and we also renamed our long day care room from Wombats to Bidgey Pidgey. And this was done in collaboration with local Larrakia artist Jason Lee, and it was a very exciting time to be part of Essington. My highlight is that I made so much new friends in 2022. Um, my highlight for me in 2022 was the Twilight Fair because there was a jumping castle. The athletics carnival, what everyone was good with different things like some people were good at running, disc throw, javelin and all of that and also about PE because we learned lots of types of different sports in the world. My highlight was being with my friends. Honestly, it's actually really tricky to even specify one main thing. Term 2 was full of so many incredible moments, memories made, incredible engagement with the kids and with the curriculum. I wouldn't even know where to start. In saying that, definitely a few highlights. Uh, Tournament of Minds, we also had our intensive swimming classes, we had sports carnivals, engagement with the students, it was amazing. I could not speak highly enough of the way that the students engaged this term. Oh, it's been such a great year. It's hard to actually pin down to one highlight. Um, HPE Day once again was amazing and this year we brought in our sport, special sporting assembly. Had the Minister for Sport come in and speak to us and then we had our fun activities on the Oval afterwards and um, it was a great way to incorporate a lot of community organisations and sporting organisations into our school. This year we've joined the wet season netball competition once again and it's been great to get back in amongst that and so far the highlight of that competition was Irene who's one of our sports captains hasn't played netball before and she came out and played and, and the, the kids just got around her and it was fantastic to see. Each one of our gala days has been amazing as well I think we've had about 12 gala days out and it, like our kids just make us proud every time we go out there just with their sportsmanship and just support of each other. Our athletics carnivals, we had three athletics carnivals. I thought that the year three to six one was pretty good and then the year seven to twelve one was pretty good but um, we had our pre-transition to year two carnival out on the oval here and that was just amazing. It was so, such good fun and so many parents were there. Our colour fun run is always something that we look forward to and that was just fantastic. We had the foam cannon and the kids just loved it. A highlight for my 2022 would be Tournament of Minds. Excursion to Parliament House. My highlight of 2022 was definitely Tom's, but mostly because I won it. I really enjoyed school camp. I don't have one particular highlight, but for me at the middle school, it's um, when the kids arrive every day and they say, good morning, Miss Susie. I hope you have a beautiful day. 
certainly gets me off to a good start. Um, yeah, so I have highlight every day. My highlight of this year has been the RSPCA Cupcake Week and visiting the RSPCA centres to see all the animals. My highlight this year was the swimming carnival. My highlight for this year was year nine camp. Three highlights for 2022 is being able to return to um, some of the community activities that I enjoy the most. So athletics carnival was such a good day out. Seven to 12 all involved. The swimming carnival, beautiful day at the pool. I think my favorite though has got to be um, year 12 graduation where we got to celebrate the end of their academic learning journey. And everybody was so excited and getting ready for the future. It was great to be part of it. Oh look, I'm an absolute nut for anything community based absolute fun times. Um, I absolutely adored the Catch the Flag. We also ran the uh, World's Greatest Shave. Any event like that, and there's been so many this year, which I can absolutely credit to the incredible hard work and dedication of RSRC this year. That has been my highlight, seeing that flourish. It's been amazing. Uh, I think a major highlight for me this year is just getting to know new people and making new friendships, because I know we're all studying and we're all worrying about what's gonna happen next year, but definitely getting to know new people and talking to new people is something I've enjoyed. I think definitely all the times I laugh with my friends, because year 12 can be pretty stressful, and I think laughter is pretty important. Definitely the times I spent with my friends and the athletics and swimming canals. There you have it. Thank you for joining us in 2022, for sharing the learning journey with us, with your child, and for all of your care and support as a community. Have a great holiday and we will see you back in 2023. For those families who are moving on, we wish you all the very best wherever your next journey takes you.